Christian here. And currently right behind me is Nickel Plate Road 779. The last steam locomotive, the Lima Locomotive Works built. All thanks to a technicality. And I suppose you're wondering why I'm here making another video, this time in 4K. Seeing how I was here, exactly, well, not exactly, but seeing how I was here seven years ago in August. Well, you see, I'm here because this is the first time I've actually revisited a static steam locomotive that wasn't in a museum and isn't the Pennsylvania Railroad 4483, which just happens to be in my neck of the woods. The reason I'm back here today making this video on the 779 is because this, for the longest time, the original Nickel Plate Road 779 video was my most popular video on this channel. And I only felt that I needed to redo it. The video itself was fine, but I had to chop out the audio because of... I forget why, but the original audio was not that great that day, and the only thing you really heard audio-wise was a fire truck doing a whistle sequence. And in the grand scheme of things, um... Some of the information I got wrong. I've typed it up and yeah, some of the information I got wrong in the original video, but yet it still remains to be one of my most popular videos. So now in 4K, here is Nickel Plate Road 779, Lima's last steam locomotive. Both times I have been here, the display was not open. It's open for rare occasions and whenever the Ohio Rail experience runs through here. But rest assured, I do plan on someday coming back for an event like that because I would like to get in the cab of the 779. This sign reads, Locomotive number 779, built by the Lima Locomotive Works in 1949, is the last steam locomotive manufactured in Lima. As a Berkshire type, it represents the most advanced development of steam power. The Nickel Plate Railroad had a total of 80 such locomotives built between 1934 and 1949 at a cost of approximately $187,000 each. The tender, which was included in each order, carried 22 tons of coal and 22,000 gallons of water. Number 779 was retired in 1958 and after logging 677,000 95 miles, it was placed on display in Lincoln Park train exhibit in 1966. trying to keep the narration limited on this, but this is live narration from the scene. And I'm going to read what this one says. Caboose number 1091 was built in 1882 by the Lafayette Car Works of Lafayette, Indiana. It has been completely restored and equipped by the Allen County Historical Society. Although much of the structure had been replaced during its years in service, the corner post, door post, and wooden bows which support the roofs are original. Inside the caboose are the coal stove used for cooking and heating, a built-in icebox, and bunks for the brakemen. Such wooden cabooses were gradually replaced by steel construction in the 1950s and 1960s. So let's zoom out and let us get a shot walking by here.
And just like last time, I caught an Indiana and Ohio freight train. With that being said, I'm sure I'll be back someday when the display is open and I look forward to it. Until then, hope you enjoy my remake of my Nickel Plate Road 779 Lima's last steam locomotive. And stay tuned for stuff from the Indiana Rail Experience.